All right, guys, what's going on? This is W Drums here. We're back with some more trap, um, trap team, uh, trap team, and basically, I've been seeing a lot of questions and concerns about the villain vault and how to trap enemies. So I'm gonna show you right here, up close and personal, everything you need to know. So let's do this. Do this. So right away, I have a life trap with Shield Shredder already in there. He's already in case, so that means the trap is occupied. So right over here is Sheep Creep. A life trap villain. May look like an ordinary harmless little sheep, but I can personally assure you that sheep creep here is bad news. In fact, he's supposed to be in Cloudcracker Prison for leading an ill-fated sheep rebellion. But hey, this gives us a perfect opportunity to practice our trapping skills. Go ahead and take him down for me, will ya? Alright, so here we go. We're gonna reverse the villain. He was the closest one in the story that I could honestly find, so this will be really quick and easy. Sheep creep. There we go, life trap. All right. Oh wow, so he's not messing around. There we go. So he's dead. Sheep creep defeated. So right away we need a life trap on the portal, which we can do because we have one right now. But watch this. Sheep creep trapped. See, we can choose one. I can choose to do sheep creep, or I can still keep shield shredder in there. And if I choose that. Sheep Creep goes back into the Villain Vault, and you'll see him just go back to the vault, and then whenever you want, you go back to the hub in Skylanders Academy, look through it, and you can pop him right in a trap, and I'll show you that just right after this, right after this. So, we just caught Sheep, yeah, sheep Creep, so let's pop him right in there, see that? It makes you choose, you hear all that dialogue from the portal and all that good stuff. So look at that, now we're playing Sheep Creep. Mine's already upgraded, so he's a little stronger than the average one. The tag to play as your captured enemy. Then press the tag Come on, Eon. Again to return to playing as your Skylander. Holy guacamole! Glad to see you changed your way, sheep creep. So check that out. So save this village. <laughs> so there's sheep creep. So now what we're going to do is we're going to exit and go back to the hub itself. Which I'm wondering how we do. I can probably just go to the main menu, honestly. There we go, Sheep Creep is now in my life trap. And there's my boy Treadhead. Alright, so now, we're gonna go over to the Villain Vault, which is right over here. So you go here, you open it up. So now, you see how Sheep Creep is already encased in there? So what's kinda cool is, um... So let's say I wanted to put back, uh, who was in there that I wanted to put in there? We wanted to do, where was he? There we go, Shield Shredder. So you click A, and you put him right back in the trap. No questions asked. You don't have to battle him again. He's encased in there. Look at that. He's back in there. Yeah, you can leave. Look at that. I got Shield Shredder now. I still don't get this. I guess this this is a shield. I don't understand that part. Oh yeah, his name is Shield Shredder. I'm an idiot. Yeah, that probably is a shield man. All right. So he's pretty nifty, little tiny little soldier. So then let's say uh, so let's switch it up. So now we've got Shield Shredder in that one. So let's say uh, I've got who's in this one. Say I want to put a dream catcher. 
Pain in something. Dream catcher. So I got an air trap right there. I didn't have the trap at the time to trap her when I versed her. Right there. She's encased now in the trap. Are you seeing this? Are you watching this? This is awesome. Activision and Toys for Bob did a very useful thing for us. There she is. And I can switch back to Shredhead. Nope. Shredhead. Shredhead. No problem. Look how awesome that is. And uh, finally, a little bit more information. If you go over here, there's a wanted poster. You click on that, and it lets you see the wanted posters for every single element. So let's say I've got a shield shredder, which I caught. So you go over to life. Every time you caught one, they'll be encased in silver. Every time they're still running loose, they're like that. So if they're encased in silver, that means I caught them. It just doesn't mean I have. It, mean, yeah, it just doesn't mean I uh, have his quest on yet. When you do their quest, which is throughout the level it'll turn gold. And so let's say, I don't know what the heck you're talking about with these quests and stuff, W drums. Well, drums. Well, you click show quest. Boom, right there. It says bring him the Gilmore at the Willikin workshop to make special noise. So right there, Willikin workshop, whenever you you are going to that level, you can instantly make sure you have this guy prepared in a life trap ready to go to level up. And it's that easy. So let's say another example. Um Okay, that's a bad example. Let's see. What about undead? Uh, bad example. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe water? Bad example. All right. Are all my guys trapped? Come on. There we go. Pinata. He's silver as well. So let's see. Bring him to Bag of Bones at the Secret Skewers of Supreme Stink to deliver a new song. So right there. We go to uh, Chapter 10, which is actually what I got to do next. And we'll bring Pinata, and we'll get him... Pinata, and we'll bring him to the quest. He'll get it done. He gets a gold ring around it, and... They get stronger. They get stronger. That's the other thing I wanted to talk about real fast. Is so, she doesn't have her quest done yet. So this is a terrible example. We'll put her back, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So basically, let's see. Let's use uh perfect. He's a basic guy, but you all know who the Gulper is. The very first boss in Skylanders Trap Team. He's blue. But, when he's evolved, as it says up there, when you do his quest, he changes colors. So not only does he change a new color scheme, he also gets stronger attacks. They're the same attacks, but they're a lot more uh, powerful. They do a lot more damage, and it's really worth upgrading them. Because some quests, um, some uh, levels require you to have upgraded villains for instead like money and stuff. So it is important you focus on these kind of aspects. So let's see, another example we could do is... Ah, oh, this is a good one. Wait, no, hold on. Where's he at? Where are you at? Ah, uh, we could do... Press the tag button to play as your captured enemy. Let's see, who do I want to bring in? Then press the tag button again to return to playing as your... Okay, we'll do this one. One of my favorites. Rolling... Uh, I'm sorry, rolling... Trolling Thunder. Trolling Thunder. He's evolved as well. Attack Trap from the Nightmare Express Chapter 21. So look at that. He's got a darker color scheme now. He used to be just gold. But now he's like an army looking color because we upgraded him. So now his damage is so much more superior now. Down 95 for that. 238 for that. Like that's pretty darn good if you ask me. And then another one I've been using a lot lately that I love to death. He's really great. Ah, to death. That's funny. I'm not even trying to do that. Hoodsicle. We've got Hoodsicle. I just upgraded him. He's got a whole different color scheme, man. Look at his picture. And now on the left. Now look at my figure. Looks so different because he got e evolved pretty much. So now I do 110 and watch this. 660 damage every time I'm, I'm doing that. It's insane. Rush. So that's your basic guide for uh, how to trap villains, how to work around the vaults, how to upgrade them and all that good stuff. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have a good one and God bless. Peace!